Hello to everyone. I am Miranda Tsivosani. I am a nephropathologist and I'm working on kidney non-neoplastic diseases since 2003. I was in different places for training. Netherlands 2007, Heidelberg 2008, Paris 2018 and so on. This photo is from Arcana Laboratories. I also got this fellowship certificate from ISN and Arcana Laboratories. In our clinic and medics, we also have a, a external quality control and we do it regularly. The propathologist expert from Vanessa Bijol as well, a technician, Roberto Santoniani, we are in our clinic in 2018. All these trainings are very important for our work. General pathologists cannot do the same work. So uh, only certified nephropathologists can do it. Here you uh, can see the list of diseases that we encounter in our daily practice. And this is not a complete list of diseases for correct diagnosis. It is also very important to have qualified um, uh, lab team as well as uh, proper reagents and equipment for this work. We usually have help nephropathologists to make the diagnosis. The correct diagnosis is very essential for uh, the correct treatment. We help our patients to avoid dialysis and transplantation. Here you can see the list of uh, antibodies that we uh, use in our everyday practice. Routinely, we do direct immunofluorescence on frozen section. At this picture, you can see IgG granular expression and the diagnosis was membranous glomerulopathy in this case. In membranous glomerulopathies, we use also uh, immunohistochemical stain for PLA2R and THST to identify primary membranous versus secondary membranous glomerulopathies. Uh, for light microscopy study, we also use hematoxylneosin as well as a special stain. At this photo, you can see periodic acid shear pass stain on paraffin sections. We can evaluate basement membranes uh, in mesangial areas and mesangial cellularity by the stain. We evaluate the diagnosis of uh, fibrosis through the mesentrichrome stain. We can evaluate basement membranes as well as the presence of endo and extracapillary proliferation through this John Silver stain. Uh, this is congruent stain for the amyloid. We use this stain in patients uh, who are older than uh, 40 years. Also, it, uh, uh, also in uh, cases when we do not see any kind, any changes, significant changes by light microscopy, we use this congruent stain in younger patients. You can see reddish coloration in different structures, the same congruent stain under polarization microscope. Polarization allows us to reveal small amounts of amyloid deposits and help us to make the diagnosis uh, this is immunohistochemical stain for amyloid. We can perform this presence of, uh, confirm the presence of amyloid by the stain. All pictures that we take uh, are available for a nephropathologist as well. Um, for this, we have this high quality SACE microscope and digital camera. Uh, this is another case of amyloidosis. Here you can see lambda light chain expression in mesangial areas. Uh, and uh, uh, the diagnosis for amyloidosis in this case. Uh, the time is also very important because the, uh, after we receive the biopsy, the diagnosis is ready for the next day. Electron microscopy also available. The answer for EM is later after a week. Electron microscopy study provides additional information and improves the light microscopy and immunofluorescence findings. If you will, if you interest, if you will interested with this, with our service, we will provide the renal biopsy protocol and containers for transportation. Due to the protocol, the first container is Michelle's fixative for immunofluorescence study. Second container contains uh, formalin for light microscopy and electron microscopy study. 
please, please place to separate course in second or on um, second one for light and electron microscopy. Multiple cores are uh, recommended for transplants. Be, be sure that the containers are closed tightly. We will provide clinical data sheet for you. The correct uh, filling of this sheet is essential because clinical information together with light microscopy, immunofluorescence, and electron microscopy study lead us to the correct diagnosis. For more information, please contact uh, by this mail, uh, or you can call by this phone as well. We can organize individual trainings uh, and case discussions for you as well. I wish you good health and success in your work. Thank you very much for your attention.